is? Well, at 9.37, we got alerts from the computer and the phone to um, a person with a gun reported near Dietrich, and my office is next to Dietrich. Stay inside, secure doors, emergency personnel responding, call 911 for help. Now, we have just have gotten a new update, which said that at 9.09, three juveniles attending a camp reported a white male outside Dietrich and New Resident Hall East that may have had a handgun. They said it was covered by a cloth or some sort, and he was walking fast in the direction of the volleyball courts. So they, the officials have resp officers responded immediately to the area but found no one matching the description. In the meantime, all of our doors are locked, outside doors, entrance, and all of our inside doors to our offices. So we have been told to stay put until we get further information. They have law enforcement officers from Virginia Tech, Blacksburg, Montgomery County are all patrolling the, office, the campus trying to find the subject. Okay, so, so just to bring everybody up to date here, um, you got this alert that possibly there was somebody uh, with a handgun on, on campus, and you, you're the first to give us these details now. Uh, three kids at camp allegedly saw uh, this man walking around with a with a gun covered by you said some type of cloth the, some, these, kind of cl covering. Covering, cloth some type of covering covering some type of some kind of covering okay now what camp are these kids uh, attending and is it right there near the dining well, hall we we have we have many many camps um, in the summer sports camps academic camps so i'm really not sure which camp they were attending but um, we, we have maybe up to a hundred different camps during the summer so I'm not real sure it didn't say but we've had a lot of kids from all over who come to these various specialized camps got it and the description of this alleged gunman can you give us anything more he was a white male okay six feet tall light brown hair okay and he had a blue and white striped shirt the stripes were vertical gray shorts and brown sandals white blue okay go ahead subject had no facial hair or glasses okay that's a pretty detailed and good description how yeah. close how close did this this man uh, get to these kids well that's a good question um, our uh, alert doesn't say that Okay, and um, so have, I mean, obviously there's probably some pretty concerned parents uh, hearing this and seeing this right now. Um, what all these various kids that are attending these various camps there on campus, um, how do we know that they are in a safe place? Well, I can tell you, everything I can see out my window is nothing. Even the construction zone has come to a halt because they were building on to a new, the West End Market is one of our um, special dining halls right across from Dietrich and it, my office is just about 50 yards from it. Uh, the whole construction crew is gone. So I, I think the whole area has been cleared. Uh, it, to me, if this is cleared, <laughs> I, it, it indicates everything has been secure. Got I mean, it. There's no traffic, no movement, no anything outside. There was also, we have flashing boards now inside of our buildings that gave the alert and also verbal alert that set on a sound system outside the building. So I think all of that came into play to help people get